talk about it yet oh how are the kids doing how's homeschooling you know it's just been like a really amazing um year for us to get to know each other as a family and just have so much time together it doesn't sound like it's been great it's just been great i've learned so much about myself what's happening well i have just been at home this whole time. I've just been nothing but home. I haven't gone anywhere. I haven't seen anyone staring at my four walls and nothing else for so long. <laughs> On vacation during a pandemic? That would be nuts. My Zoom's freeze. The waves are moving and the tree is moving. All the turkey vultures came back. We were on a walk and I let him off the leash. All right, let's play. He was grabbed by a bird and I tried to grab onto him and I tried to save him, but I didn't have a leash and the bird was too high and I it took him away. Did she just say that her dog was eaten by a turkey vulture? She just said her dog was eaten by a vermilion turkey vulture. Franny, why do you have a mask on? I mean, I have a mask on, but that's not the same reason. Why do you have a mask on? Uh, we're in the middle of a pandemic. Where are you? At home. I don't know where you guys have been. I don't think um, that it can come through the screen i don't think so either but i have learned my lesson in this pandemic that things do not always work the way i think they are supposed to work you know they make this okay. thing called norton antivirus maybe that would help you that's really you know, true like dr fauci so i'm not going to be getting my medical advice from you thanks i think we've talked about my mask enough why don't we talk about emma's mask did you notice i'm wearing my glasses i have to wear my glasses now do you know why i have to wear my glasses now 
because I got an infection in my eye. So I was trying all the makeup tutorials, which is what we'd all like to do. Everyone should be smaller. It's the goal in life to be smaller, except your eyes. And I was really good at them. And apparently I did not keep things clean enough and I got an infection in my eye. What did you do? No, I just stayed home and drank wine and it went away. Self-medication. That's okay. We're all just doing the best we can right now. And it looks different for everybody. At least the very didn't kill your dog. Madison, I feel terrible. I'm, I'm so sorry about your dog. That's so sad. And it's a struggle. We're all that grieving, really honey. Normal. I don't feel like Linda is grieving. I feel like Linda is on vacation and she is not <laughs> grieving and she's not suffering like any of the rest of us. <laughs> Miss you. <laughs> Want to give you a air hug. So Katie, what have you been up to? I haven't seen you in, it feels like a year or so. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. So last year at the start of the pandemic, um, I was in this online film festival. Hi, huh. I'm Loretta Lucas. But after the lights turned off, um, I didn't take off the glasses um, or the wig. Um, I just kind of stayed in the character of Loretta Luckus to kind of deal with the pandemic because I just have a lot of respect for Loretta, Loretta, Loretta. I can do this. I can do this. It'll be fine. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. teach. God, I miss that woman. You know, it's been a stressful time, but you know, I've, I've found a new way to get the endorphins going. I've, I've discovered professional puddle jumping. Actually, I've been amateur for the last few months. I'm thinking about becoming professional. And my feet, my feet have never looked so youthful with the mud treatments. I mean, she's, right. she's yeah. pursuing her dream during the, uh, during the pandemic. And that gets so one of the things that I thought I would do during the pandemic is finally pursue my dream of doing a um, Prince tribute band. Nothing compares to you. And so I call it rain purple. We do have some clips that I'll, I could share with you. I'm so proud of you. So what I was thinking so about to is, I really think, well, I, I, no, no, you, so you know, ladies, I, I feel like this was really therapeutic. I think maybe we should uh, put one of these down in our calendars, you know, and maybe uh, do this again. We don't want to plan too much because I think things are really fluid right now. Are you crazy? The, the first rule of 2021, I told you, I told you all. The first rule of 2021 is we don't talk about 2020. Yeah, what? You're muted. Honey, unmute, unmute. Katie, maybe if you're gonna eat chips, you could mute. If you could mute, oh, and unmute. Okay, in there. I'm muted. So how you been, man? It's been a while. Yeah, I've been pretty good. How about yourself? Oh, I'm hanging in there. Yeah, hey, did you catch the game last night? Uh, yeah, I did. Yeah, and the Cardinals, they pulled it out again. Yeah, it was crazy to see them play well this season after that last one. 
Just remember, the first rule of 2021 is that we don't talk about 2020. Yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah. I'm telling you, man, birds aren't real. <sighs> They're government surveillance drones invented by the ruling class to keep them in power. Bro, it's way too early for this. I mean, can't we just sit back and like enjoy our coffee? I'm being serious, man. I mean, just look around. They perch up in the trees and watch us with their beady little camera eyes. I, why can't you just be normal? I mean, dude, I, I could bring birds, you know, right to us. I mean, like, what does that even mean? Birds aren't real. Look, man, that's exactly what they want you to think. You've fallen into their trap. Just look up at those electric wires, all right? That's how they charge their batteries. And the trees, I mean, it's the perfect angle for watching our every move. Look, I think we have some confusion here. So the term birds aren't real refers to biological birds no longer existing on U.S. soil. Ever since the 1960s, when the government forcibly made the species extinct and replaced them with drones designed to look like birds. Birds no longer exist as a biological life form, therefore, birds aren't real. You know what, they, they already look at us through our computers, okay? Isn't that enough surveillance? All right, you know what, I gotta get to work. You know, hey, thanks for the coffee. Um, but, you know, I know you're giving a speech uh, later on campus, um, but, you know, maybe, maybe you, don't go with that one, you okay? You gotta believe me, man. No. Nope. You'll see, they'll all see. <sighs> the enlightened life is a lonely one. I bet they're up there right now. Stupid birds. God, that's it. That, that, that's it. Betsy, you're the genetic variant that, that holds the cure to COVID. Do you realize what this means? Of course you don't realize what this means. You're just a salamander after all. Oh my God, this is it. This is it. <laughs> I can't tonight. But dude, it's Toofers at the pub. I really can't. I've, I've had a big breakthrough with Betsy. Oh, Betsy again? Trust me, this is really important. Like, this could change my entire career. It, it could change the world. All right, later lizard lover. Thanks, asshole. Have a good night. All right, you stay put, Betsy. 
I'll be back for you in the morning. I had a couple of drunk buddies come in here last night with a salamander. Did you see him or anything? Uh, I wasn't working last night, so sorry. Salamander? Who the hell cares about a salamander? Well, you see, this salamander's special. It carries the scientific discovery of a decade, the cure to COVID. COVID's not real, dude. Can I help you? Hi. Do you have anywhere moist? I I'm looking for my salamander. My friends went on this whole drunken escapade last night. I haven't seen anything. Okay. Thanks for that. Yes, yes, uh, I am looking for my salamander. My drunk friends came in here last night with my salamander, and now I can't find it. Has anyone seen a salamander? Nobody's seen a salamander. You see, this is actually really important. The salamander, it holds the cure. The cure to COVID. It could save the world. Really? Security. Started. So come on in. Beer and whiskey aplenty. And the first rule about 2021 is that we don't talk about 2020. Let's do it one more time. And the first rule about 2021 is that we don't talk about 2020. Let's do it one more time. And the first rule about 2021 is that we don't talk about 2020. What are you doing in here? You see, I'm looking for my salamander. She's special. She has the cure. The cure to COVID. <laughs> God will handle that. You have to trust in God, not science. Well, as a scientist, I would have to respectfully disagree. Doesn't anybody care that I found this cure? The discovery of a decade. No one cares. All of this for nothing. I don't know, maybe if I still had Betsy here, maybe this would all mean something. <gasps> Betsy? <laughs> it's you! 
I can't believe it's you. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Betsy? What? Betsy? Oh, God. I wonder if they're still serving two first.